Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, there is a new desktop environment that is in development down the road here, and I wanted to have a brief look at it. Now, this is still in, I don't even know if it's in alpha or beta. I think it's probably more in, in alpha still. So there's some bells and whistles that are missing. There's going to be a lot, few things maybe that may not work as well, but we're going to go ahead and have a look. Now, if you're running Arch or an Arch base, you can already install this. It is called cute fish and uh, there is however an Ubuntu build which will give you an Ubuntu with cute fish installed as well that's going to be the one we have a look at here today as I was browsing through some different Linux stuff and found this I'm like well that seems really cool let's go ahead and have a look and right now let's go ahead and start with just having a brief look at the website and see what they're doing so this is cutefish-ubuntu.github.io and uh, you can come on over here you can have a look at it and uh, you can see it's uh, just from the picture here a very modernist mask uh, mac-esque type design it just has all those just all the stylistic designs that you find in Mac, I actually think they, they appear to do it a little bit better than elementary does. I at least have minimize and maximize buttons on their windows. Um, but uh, they also work on the desktop, so desktop icons are going to work. That's fine. Uh, they say uh, simple and exquisite design, most suitable design enhance user to enhance user experience. This is a very subjective point. If you watch my videos, you know I do two things. Number one, um, I will speak about my personal experiences. Number two is I'm, I'm not one of these guys that just smells, blows smoke up people's butt. Going, oh my God, it's some amazing stuff. If it's good, I'll tell you it's good. If, it's, if, I, if I don't think it is, I don't think it is, but that is still my opinion. And uh, in my opinion, the layout in Mac and Elementary and GNOME, the layout just is, does not jive with my personal workflow. That's a personal thing. Now, if you like the way GNOME or Mac Mac works, you are going to like the workflow more than I do. So we're going to go ahead and approach it from that perspective. Uh, security stability based on open source Linux kernel. Uh, Linux is more secure than other operating systems, developers, blah, 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 whatever. They do have a few Cutefish applications. Uh, I'm guessing they're going to work on some more. We have here... Um, uh, I'm not sure what the camera one is is for. There's a calculator. The file system is very basic at this point in time. It looks like they're still working on development. They have a settings panel. They have their own terminal. And um, the one I had has Kate installed. Uh, this looks like maybe um, a notepad. Um, but you can kind of see all that. And if you go ahead and just hit the download option, there was apparently an, an issue on the development. But you can see this is the Cutefish Ubuntu 041. Again, if you have, have an Arch build something, uh, set up somewhere you can install an Arch Manjaro things like that. So, uh, and I believe there's actually a Manjaro build of it floating around somewhere as well. But um, with that, uh, enough of looking at the website. Let's actually just go ahead and have a look at what the distro looks like itself. So we're going to go ahead and boot this up. It installed flawlessly onto the desktop environment. It is a believe it is using calamars i forget um it installed very well uh very quickly and uh no issues just very simple installer and then we're going to land here on their custom um their their kind of their their custom login window here we have a clock over here we have over here is where you select your different desktops i'm not sure why we have two of them there but uh Let's go ahead and keep that there. You can suspend, reboot, shut down the system. And then here's all the different uh, logins that we have. So once we get logged in there, then um, it's going to land us on the desktop. And the desktop is going to look pretty much exactly like you no know, more Mac OS or um, a little bit like elementary, although this does look a little bit better than, than the elementary style in some ways, although there's some things about the elementary style that are a little bit better. So what I see out the out of the gate here is it's GNOME with a dock, except it's based on Qt. This is based on Qt Quick rather than GTK. So if you are somebody that likes your GTK, uh, you're going to want to just stick with GNOME. If you like this type of layout and you really use Qt a lot, this one might be your better go-to desktop environment when it is in full development because it's based on Qt. Uh, that might mean, 
I don't do as much with uh, interfacing between the two, um, but uh, you may or may not have some issues with some GTK applications working. Um, I don't know. We can try and install one, I guess, to see um, what's uh, what's a good Qt applications. Um, isn't Rhythmbox? I don't know if I can spell Rhythmbox though. Let's see. Oh, pfft. I have to install though. You know, there you go. let's see. I believe Rhythmbox is GTK. I could be wrong about that, but we'll see how that looks. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and install that. We do have four package installers. We do have the Muon package installer here. And so this is going to allow you to search up whatever you might want to search up. So if I could have just gone gone in here and, and searched and should show it. Eh, maybe it's not. I don't know. Um, but you can find the different packages that you want in here. So there's LibreOffice. So you can see that uh, you can use that as uh, it's not the best package manager, but it does work. We have Kate installed. This is the terminal. This is their custom terminal here. We have a settings panel, file manager. The calculator is also one of their custom tools. Notice, ooh, minimize, maximize, and close buttons. They got that figured out. All right, that's good. Now, as far as launcher applications, once again, very GNOME-esque, although I think GNOME is going to be ahead of it in that uh, we can't um, create our, our groups as we have over there. Let's have a look at what uh, this guy looks like. So that looks fine. I, I, can't, I can't remember if Rhythmbox is based on GTK or not. I... I don't always follow uh, follow that. Um, looks fine, though, regardless. It does come pre-installed with VLC. This is everything here except I installed Rhythmbox, of course. You guys saw that. But everything else in here is all it comes with, so it is not an overly, uh, an overly um, uh, bloated distribution. We just have the very basics. We have a simple package manager. We have a, a scan option. We have a startup disk creator. And uh, those are pretty much the options that we have. Um, we do have notice two settings. Um, what is this, Budgie? We have multiple settings. This settings manager here will give you some appearance settings. So this is your widget style, uh, icon themes, QT theme, font, and cursor. So you can go ahead and uh, use those. There's brightness. This is going to apply if you have a laptop or things. File allocations, pulse audio preferences. And that's all we have inside of that one. We also have the other settings tool. Again, it does look like a GNOME clone. So we have our wireless, we have our Ethernet connections here, our display, we have rotation of displays, we have a resolutions refresh rate, and we just have fractional scaling 100 up to 225% increments. We do have light theme and dark theme and the option to darken the wallpaper in dark theme. So that might be something some people really like. And then, of course, we can choose our accent colors as well. So if I'll go with uh, that theme there. And we can change fonts and then wallpapers. They do give us a, a lot of intriguing little wallpapers uh, inside here. And uh, we do have one with a fish because cute fish. Why not? That is a cute fish, isn't it? That's, that's a beta fish. What is this? I thought this was an alpha. Where's the alpha fish? All right. Uh, as far as your dock is concerned, you don't have uh, the ability to scale it directly, but you can do small, medium, large, and huge dock you can auto hide it always show it or you can put it on the variety of uh you know either the, the left the bottom or the right no no top sorry and then everything else in here we have our user here's our mouse once again we can change our mouse cursors over here and under our power we do have a power save mode and we do have a performance mode excellent for laptops uh, i think that there is a bug in this system as of right now if i try and change one it's going to ask for my password and it just keeps asking for my password i have to close that and then manually close that um, so that's something that it appears as though it is still in development now as far as the file manager we mentioned this is just a very very basic file manager uh, we can just access everything that we have but uh, we don't see a lot of other options. We can do a new folder. We can do properties. We don't have a lot of things like, um, uh, I don't know, there's just a lot of functions that are missing. We can't go icons list. 
uh, sorting, of course, things like that. And that's about all it does. Now, the last thing is at least we do have the option to use desktop icons. Um, so we can go ahead and um, have desktop icons. Apparently, we can't arrange them any way we want. So you will have a messy desktop, but at least we have desktop icons. Uh, following the uh, QT Plasma theme set, they don't have an easy way to put icons on the desktop or things like that. The fact they exist, hey, that's good enough. But uh, this is pretty much what we get within it. It's not overly flashy. It's not overly amazing. It just, to me, it's it's simply GNOME based on Qt. That's kind of my thought, except GNOME at least you can do extensions, extend things out. Uh, we'll kind of see and watch the development. Um, nothing on the clock. Uh, if you click on the volume, we can turn on or off Wi-Fi. We can turn on or off dark mode. We can adjust the, uh, the volume here. You can do your shutdowns and I don't think you can log out from there. You can hit this to shut down, reboot, log out, screen or suspend. And then we'd have our quick access to our settings inside of there. So this is the uh, Cute Fish desktop environment. Uh, again, you can use the uh, the Ubuntu one, which is what we're doing here, or you can install this on Archer Manjaro with uh, just uh, Pac-Man S. Um, Fish. So there it is, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this one down below. Is this going to be another amazing desktop that we're going to start seeing offered with a variety of distributions, or is just this just QT GNOME? Is it going to go somewhere, or is it not going to go somewhere? Let me know your thoughts on all those items in the comments down below. Also, let me know if you're going to give it a try and uh, what you think. So with that, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy... Switching to Linux.